Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a couple of new products from AGRC. Some of these products I've already tested in previous videos and the rest will be featured soon on upcoming reviews. Let's start with the products that I've already tested, the Zeus DTX Nano and the Yellows 2207.5 and 2306.5 motors. The Zeus VTX Nano is one of my favorite Nano VTXs. It offers multiple mounting options. It supports a C-Trump protocol, has a selectable output strength of 25, 100, 200, and 350 milliwatts. It supports speed mode, features a non microphone, and uses an IPX antenna connector. When testing it, I got to about 1.7 kilometers on 25 milliwatts, which is really impressive. And of course, I also managed to achieve these results by using high quality RF equipment. The weight of the Zeus VTX Nano, including all the mounting options, is 2.5 grams, and it comes with a price tag of about $17, so it's not expensive. As for the Yellows 2207.5 and 2306.5 motors, these are premium motors which are available in multiple KV options, so they support between 4S to 6S batteries, and so far I have a very good experience using them. Another motor which I'm going to test soon is the ILS 2004. It is available in 2 kV options, 3000 kV which supports up to 5S batteries and 1800 kV which supports up to 6S batteries, both with spinning 5-inch propellers. 204 motors are becoming very popular these days, so in addition to the thrust test, I hope to feature it in a build and flight video. Another product which I'm probably going to test next week is the Zeus VTX. This lightweight 40 channels VTX supports both 20x20 and 30.5x30.5mm mounts. It features an AMCX antenna connector, an onboard microphone, supports RSC Trump protocol, and the output power can be set in addition to pit mode to 25, 100, 200, 400, and 800 milliwatts. In addition, it features an onboard LC filter and weighs 5 grams. The next product, which I'm almost done testing, is the MotoWoop HD. This micro quadcopter features the Cadex Vista digital transmission unit and the Nebula Nano camera, which are well protected under this 3D printed TPU canopy. The wheelbase of its frame is 90mm, it features heavy duty plastic propeller guards, and 1106 3800 kV motors, which are spinning 2 inch propellers. So, this little quadcopter is going to provide you with plenty of power, however, their flight times are going to be relatively short, so you can expect flight times of about 2 minutes using a 4S 520 mAh LHB battery. In addition, the Moto Whoop HD features the new Zeus 25 flight controller. This Whoop style all in one flight controller features an F7 processor, an integrated 25 ampere BLL32 4 in one ESC. It can be powered directly with up to 6S batteries. It features 5 free UI ports, and in addition to a 5V BEC, it features a 10V BEC, which is especially useful for powering a digital transmission unit. The weight of the Zeus 25 is 8 grams, and while testing the MotoWeb HD, I didn't encounter any issues, so I think that it performs well. And I also like the fact that the micro USB connector is reinforced, even though it could have been better if they could use a USB Type C connector. Moving on to the Zeus 5. This Whoop style all in one flight controller features an F4 processor, an integrated 5A BLLES 4 in one ESC, two full UART ports, it can be powered directly with 1S and 2S batteries, a Crossfire Nano receiver can be soldered directly on top of it, and its highlight is a built in Wi Fi module which will enable you to adjust its settings using SpeedyBee's app. The Wi Fi feature is pretty cool, so after you're going to power the flight controller using a battery, a new Wi-Fi network that starts with AGLRC Hermes is going to be generated, then simply join this Wi-Fi network which doesn't require a password, open up SpeedyBee's app, select the Wi-Fi option, and then as you can see you'll be able to adjust the settings of the flight controller without physically being connected to its micro USB port. The weight of the Zeus 5 is 4.6 grams and I plan to feature it soon on a build and flight video. Anyway, that's going to be it for this quick video, and as you can see, I have plenty of work ahead of me. As always, if you have any questions about any of the products that I've shown you in this video, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos, and goodbye.